Hey, hey, I'm Morgan Wilder, Assistant Conservator of Paintings at the Balboa Art Conservation Center in San Diego. I'm still at home, so I'm back to talk to you a little bit about the right way to frame your paintings and how to hang them in your home. This is for the most common types of paintings in homes, which are framed paintings and paintings that are under 60 pounds. So, here we go. Okay, here are some tips for framing. If you're going to buy a new frame or have a treatment done by a conservator, take the time to frame your painting correctly. But what does that mean? First, ensure that the framer or conservator pad the rabbit, the part of the frame that touches the painting, with felt or another suitable material to prevent any abrasion against the painting. Ideally, a painting should be held in place with frame clips or brass mending plates that are attached to the frame with screws. Although metal points and nails are often used to frame paintings, they aren't recommended because they can rust, fall out, or protrude through the canvas. In terms of framing, one of the simplest and most important preservation steps is to have a protective backing board attached to your painting. A coroplast or archival foam core backing secured to the reverse of your painting with screws and not tacks or staples will reduce exposure of the canvas to rapid environmental changes, keep out dust and foreign objects, and protect against damage during handling. Be sure that the backing covers the entire back of the painting. If you have a painting on canvas, the backing board should be attached to the reverse of the stretcher or the strainer and not the frame. If you have a painting on paperboard or other thin artist boards like this one, the backing board will have to be attached to the frame. But in any case, have a professional conservator or framer attach it for you. If the painting is framed, the hardware should be attached to the back of the frame, not the stretcher or the strainer. Use D-ring hanging hardware, which is secured to a wooden frame with two to four screws. Screw eyes are the most popular type of picture hanging hardware, but they are not the best choice. When inserting a screw eye into soft woods or a medium density fiberboard, the threading, rather than grabbing onto the wood grain, can just create sawdust, which allows the screw to pull out. You can actually hang these D-rings directly onto picture hooks. It's the most stable and secure method, but the difficult part is you have to get the spacing and the level of your picture hooks just right for your painting to be straight. You can also thread a double strand of braided picture wire through the D-rings to suspend the artwork. Like screws, picture wire comes in different sizes, also referred to as weights. So find a size that can accommodate twice the weight of your artwork just to be on the safe side. There are many types of wire, but the best option is braided or twisted stainless steel picture wire that is plastic coated. Multiple strands of steel together make the wire stronger while the plastic coating won't hurt your hands during installation, mar walls, rust, or discolor over time. I don't have any plastic coated picture wire at home, but that is what you want to look for. So this method is a little bit less stable than the previous method in that the picture wire allows it to come out of level, uh, but the good thing is that it's not going to come off the wall anyway. And secondly, the picture hooks don't have to be perfectly spaced like the last method for them to work. And so now that this has come out of level, I can just use my level and put it back. And we're good to go. Okay, now for hanging hardware for the wall. Generally speaking, we do not need to go looking for a wall stud in order to hang paintings that are under 60 pounds. The reason why is that studs are usually located about 16 inches apart from one another. So the chances that you're going to find two points of contact that you need right where you need them is pretty slim. Instead, we use specialized hooks that are designed to bear the load of small to medium sized paintings in plaster and drywall without having to go find a stud. We recommend hook hooks or similar picture hooks rather than plain nails. Insert them directly into drywall or plaster. 
Oak hook picture hook systems can hold more weight than plain nails because of the steep angle of the nail into the wall, and the hooks themselves prevent D-rings or picture wire from falling if the painting is ever knocked or shaken. You may have read to use screws with wall anchors, such as toggle bolts, molly bolts, or spiral anchors to hang artwork, but it's important to note that most of them only work if the drywall is precisely the right thickness, and we find that they are much more difficult to install than hook hooks. They are also much more difficult to remove without causing damage to the wall. There are three kinds of oak hooks. One nail picture hooks can hold things that are 30 pounds or lighter. Two nail picture hooks can hold things that are about 50 pounds. And three nail picture hooks hold pieces that are about 75 to 100 pounds. We advise to err on the conservative side and assume that a hook can hold about half of what is advertised. That means if your artwork weighs 25 pounds, use two one nail picture hooks instead of one. If your artwork weighs 75 pounds, use two three nail picture hooks instead of one. Always use two picture hooks per artwork. Not only does this provide added weight security, but it helps artwork remain level over time compared to artwork hung by a single point. Just want to mention as well that if your painting is very large, very heavy, unusually shaped, or if you have a different kind of wall surface like brick, for example, it's a good idea to get in contact with an art installation company or conservator to find the best way to hang your artwork in your home. Okay, that's it for now, but check back for more videos later.